This is Rod Kusinen, Spoonman for Risk for September 6th, Tuesday. All times are Central Standard Time. We hit the low today relatively early, right here. 10 second chart at 926 and 30 seconds with a low of 2173. Now, any way I cut it, this low looks like we're going to be coming right back and testing this low. Very simply put, if I set our low premium threshold based on the initial low, the initial low pivot right here, we're at negative 203. All right. Now, the very next low pivot here had a much higher threshold. And we didn't go much lower than that as we moved down. So when we come to this point here, this bar of the premium is considerably below the negative 203 threshold first established. And as you can see, we're, we're way down at um, negative 233. Now, I'm just going to set different times here to show you the point. Let's reset for uh, 9.06. Now at 9.06, the PT was uh, 2.34. And the low threshold here is at negative 233. Okay, barely any difference. Point being, all right, if, the, if we set the threshold at negative 234 here, we have to reset it again over here at this at this pivot. And that brings us up to, it looks like one, let's spread this out, we can see, yeah, here we're at negative 186. And so at this point we're considerably below that threshold and we're practically even with the threshold associated with the big drop over here. So what does it tell you? Either way I cut it. That does not look like the low. It just does not look like the low. In other words, regardless of the rally back up, we're coming right back down. We're coming right back down. Okay. Over here. All right. Now, technically speaking, that wasn't the pivot bar, but we penetrated the low at that point. So, the likelihood, I mean, because that's a pretty good sized bar down, the likelihood that we're going to retest. The, uh, the 77, uh, 25 level, I would say is pretty good just based on that bar. But regardless, I mean, <laughs> you know, you come back to here, and anyway, I cut cut the uh, the threshold. I'm still I'm still looking at the premium forecast and a drop back to the low of today, which was again 21.73. That's what the premium says. Okay, 
trend has to be in agreement. Trend hasn't changed yet, um, but uh, that's a pretty significant drop. So what does it tell us? <sighs> Tomorrow morning, we need to be planning on a short. That's our call for tomorrow, September the 7th, 2016. And I'm Rod Kusin and Spoonhand for Risk.